Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this night away Good morning and welcome back to Well Lived. I hope that you guys are doing well and you're looking forward to today's video, especially because I didn't have a video for you guys last week. Now, if you've been following my newsletter, you know that I've been spending a lot of time behind the scenes doing some important work to really try to get this channel elevated to the next level. I have been manifesting some amazing things for my life as well as this channel and I really needed the time last week all of last weekend and a good majority of this week to get some things in order so all of those things that I'm really out there manifesting will start to come to fruition. I'm really, really excited about everything that I've been working on and all the opportunities to come. And don't worry, I plan to share everything with you guys a little bit later on in today's video. So for today, I had a completely different video planned for you guys. I wanted to do a project over in the living room. And while I know that I just revealed it to you guys a few months ago, even back then I knew that there were some things that I was wanting to change. And so the project that I had planned for you guys today needed all of my power tools, but unfortunately, at the beginning of this week, a huge storm rolled through North Carolina, knocking out all of the power for a good majority of the residents here in Durham, North Carolina, as well as many of the businesses. So while I really wanted this project to launch today, unfortunately, we just had to pivot a little bit. And this week has been insane. It is like a hundred degrees degrees outside and like 90 plus percent humidity outside and the house ended up just getting so warm to sit in much less sleep in that we had to get a hotel room and move into there until the electricity came back on and by the time the electricity came back on I just didn't have enough time to work on this project and get it all edited for you guys today so what we'll do is we'll push that back till next week and then today I thought it would be fun for you to just follow me along as I do some fun things around the city if you guys remember my sister is here visiting Mark and I for a few weeks this summer and I just thought it would be fun for you guys to kind of follow us around as we go to maybe the farmer's market, maybe grab some breakfast and see what other fun things we can get into today. Mark has decided to go golfing in this ridiculously hot weather for some reason. So what I'm going to do is grab some water, grab my sister, and then I will meet you guys at the farmer's market.
All right, I am back. <laughs> it is so hot outside and I am over it. I am over it. I'm ready for fall. I'm ready for sweatshirts and jackets and blankets and chili football games, pumpkin spice lattes. I am over this heat, over it. But I digress. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed following us along this morning. We really had a good time. I really do enjoy going to the farmer's market and the key is just to get there early so that you can beat the crowds and especially during this time of year you can beat the heat. And so you saw that I picked up several things while we were there. Um, one of my favorite farmers there is this bone leaf uh, grown farm um, everything there of course is local to Durham North Carolina and they make the best pickled everything and I really got into pickled veggies during the pandemic when we were all sheltered in place that was like if you remember in the very beginning that's what everyone was doing they were pickling veggies and I definitely got on that bandwagon and made some myself really enjoyed it and I've loved them really ever since and so I always get um, uh, their sauerkraut and um, hopefully you can see their contact information there um, but yes I get their sauerkraut which is just cabbage water salt and some cayenne I like it because there's just a little hint of heat in there and it's just delicious I love it I get some every single time that I go to the farmers market and then also um, today was something a little bit different. I've never seen this before, but it's a cucumber relish and it just looks really delicious. It has cucumbers, onions, sugar, vinegar, celery seed, and turmeric. And so I'm really, you know what I'm thinking? I'm like, I want like a grilled hot dog. I'm gonna put a bunch of mustard on it with some of this cucumber relish and just see what it tastes like. Um, I had to pick it up, never saw it there before, but it looks delicious definitely will be trying that soon and then I got some of this uh, strawberry fig jam I mean just look at that color looks gorgeous it has figs strawberries sugar and lemon that's it so I have really been into sourdough bread for my toast in the morning it's just really good for my gut it's I've learned via TikTok that it's something that's really good if you deal with gut issues like I do to start your morning with some sourdough bread so tomorrow morning absolutely going to be trying this and then of course I got some of the greens that you guys saw in the video I love her greens she has the best tasting uh, arugula and romaine lettuce she has edible flowers in her little pack of greens and it's like once you eat that you really can't go back to eating the stuff that you get in the grocery store it's just so fresh everything tastes so clean and earthy I absolutely love it and have been picking that up for over a year now and I just love making my salads with it. it I love it so much that you really don't need anything else other than like a little bit of olive oil a squeeze of lemon some salt and pepper and really that's it of course you can add extra veggies to it but I just kind of like to eat it plain with the side of my sandwich or whatever meal I'm gonna have maybe I'm having a little bit of pasta I always like to add a little greenery to my meal and her greens are out of sight so um, you saw us eating that wonderful 
breakfast. I absolutely love those hash brown waffles. I don't have a waffle maker. I've been looking for a really good one. And if you guys know of one or have of one, comment down below of which one I should buy because I would really like to get a waffle maker that is like crispy on the outside, but then like kind of soft and gooey on the inside. That's how I love my waffles. And I've had some cheaper waffle makers and they just aren't cutting it. So I think in order to like make those hash brown waffles, I'm gonna need a really good waffle maker. So if you know of one, definitely let me know. And then we went over to the paper store and I absolutely love that store. It just has a chokehold on me because as much as I love like all of my technology and all of my gadgets, the iPad, the computer, my phone and all of that stuff, there's just something about putting pen to paper that I absolutely love. And so while I was there, I picked up this, um, this weekly planner and I don't know what it is, but there is something about the combination of pink and orange together that I am loving right now. I don't know why, but the moment that I walked into that store, I saw this planner and I, for the most part, already knew that I was going to buy it. But what I love so much about it is that, um, you know, that you can just really plan really well with it. So you can see like you can put what month you're working with, then you can kind of plan out your whole entire week. You have like a to-do list over here, and then you have some kind of goals and plans for next week. And you know, as I was talking about a little bit earlier, is I've really been trying to do some work behind the scenes to elevate this channel even higher. And so before, up until today, <laughs> I just kind of go with the flow. I kind of just whatever I feel like talking about or videoing or putting on my socials or in my newsletter, I just kind of do it spur of the moment. But I really need to get better at planning out my content if I really want to take this and make this more into a business versus just a hobby. So I love, love, love this planner. And then I found some matching pencils and some matching markers. And again, it's just for some reason, this whole like pink and orange thing I'm really into. So my eyes, I think, just gravitated to that when I got into the store. And so I picked those up and I think that those are really going to be helpful moving Moving forward as I start to kind of build this business a little further. So what I wanted to do is talk to you guys a little bit about what I have been manifesting and what I have been doing behind the scenes in terms of work of turning this, you know, passion of mine into more of a business. And so really what I want to do, and I've told you guys this a couple of times lately, is that I really want to share my life and my travels for a living. And for the longest time, I just, you know, I, I really wanted this channel to be something that I did for fun, something that made me accountable for the promise that I made to myself and to my aunt back when she passed many years ago, um, that I was going to start living my life right now instead of waiting for X, Y, and Z. And so that chan this channel has allowed me to kind of make good on that promise. Um, and so, like I said, I've just been kind of putting out the content that I wanted to share without ever looking at any sort of analytics or numbers. I just haven't been into that. Like, of course, I see the likes and the views and the comments because that's kind of public for everyone to see. But in terms of like numbers that's in, on the back end, like how many hits do I get per month? Um, how many new followers do I get? How many people who watch my videos turn into subscribers? Subscribers and how many subscribers are actually turning on the notifications to be notified anytime that I uh, post something like all of those numbers I just have not wanted to see and I've kept in the background just because I wanted to stay true to like my story and my why and my purpose and not only develop content based on analytics 
But now when you are kind of thinking about turning it into a business and wanting to collaborate with um, Chamber of Commerce and tourism um, companies and hotels and cruises and all of these things, they want to know your numbers. And so this past couple of weeks, I've had to get behind the scenes and do some kind of nitty gritty work on trying to figure out were my numbers impressive enough to attract a company to want to work with me? And at first, if you just look at my followers, I just was not confident that that would be something that I could do right now. But then the more that I looked at my analytics, especially when you're talking about just for the travel portion of my content, I start to see like I could probably make this into a thing and I've been looking at people and watching people on TikTok and they're saying that a lot of companies now are kind of going away from partnering with those kind of content creators that are making hundreds of thousands of followers or even a million followers that they're really starting to focus on content creators who have a lower following but a really great strong community and that's what well lived is we have a strong and mighty community here and you guys are you guys are my ride or dies really i mean you are there for everything you show up for my newsletter you show up for my videos you guys are in my comments you guys are in my dms you show up and sell out anything that i put onto the internet like usually within 30 minutes and so that's what companies are wanting to see they're not necessarily wanting to see millions of followers they're wanting to see what the followers that you have are they, you know, are they your people? Are they your community? Are they booking hotels because you're booking hotels? Are they going to restaurants because you're going to restaurants? You know what I'm saying? Things like that. So once I started to kind of realize that and believe that, then that's when I started to kind of shift of how I'm looking at well lived. And so what I've done, and I thought that I would pull up my computer and kind of show you some of the work that I have been doing over the last couple of weeks of basically just how I am making sure that everything on my platform is cohesive. I found that like my socials was 688, which used to be my old business. And then another social was just Jessica Payne. And then my website was shop 688. And then my YouTube was well lived with Jessica and everything just seemed kind of discombobulated and didn't have like the same strategy and the same messaging. And I'm so thankful for being in corporate America and working in marketing. And I understand like how to build a strategy around a specific brand. And I've been doing this for pharmaceutical companies for a very long time. And now I'm kind of using everything that I've learned in corporate America and now focusing it onto my own self, which is kind of awesome. So let me pull this up and then I just want to show you guys what I have been up to lately. And I think the first thing that I will show you just one second is okay i have my page up hopefully you can see it and this is uh the front cover of my media kit and basically it's just like your resume you need to show customers um and people who you want to collaborate with who you are what is your why what is your analytics saying um what are what is your community saying what do you have to offer and how can we work together essentially that's what they want to know and so for the longest time i have not had a media kit to share so over the last couple of weeks I've been pulling this together and I'm really proud for how it's turned out so I also wanted to have a picture um, all of the pictures that I have in my media kit as well as my socials I want them to be pictures that I've taken pictures that are in the moment that kind of show you my personality and show you what I was feeling at that time that the picture was taken versus hiring a professional photographer and just having some glossy pictures all over the place that isn't really showing my th my true authentic self and so I think that this picture kind of just 
Um, it is one of my favorites. I use it a lot. You've probably seen it a lot used over on socials, but I just love the way that I just look very excited and very happy as I was to be in Alaska. And I was just like marveled at how beautiful that place was. And so I've used this as the front cover of my media kit. The next page basically tells me or tells the people who I'll be sending this to who I am, what is my why, which by now now you guys know what my why is, um, uh, why I'm living a life well lived, why am I committed to seeing the world, you know, mainly because my aunt never got to, so I'm going to um, see the world for her. And then I also wanted to just make sure and come across to these companies and people who I will hopefully be collaborating with in the near future, that it's important to have people who look like me in their travel advertising because representation matters. I found a quote that says 54% of black Americans are more likely to visit a destination if they see black representation in travel advertising. And so I really want to stress that point and I've added that here um, on this page. I have my YouTube um, statistics here. The next page is um, my audience views and kind of like what makes me different. Um, of course, I said, you know, re representation matters. So um, I, others that look like me and see me doing all of these amazing things all over the world may feel encouraged to do so themselves. But also um, on this page, I really just wanted to bring home that I like to bring a personal approach to my videos and make the audience feel like they're right there with me. And you guys have told me that you feel that way so many times throughout um, my various videos. And I've captured a lot of those comments that you've left down below for me um, over here on this side of the page. So next I talk about my travel, my digital travel guides and how I always like to create a digital guide that's printed that someone could print or someone can just have on their devices that will help them as they're planning their own trip. So anytime that I travel to um, a destination after I get home, I always like to create a digital travel guide um, for people to use later on. And so I have that. Um, then I talk about the newsletter and um, just my reach outside of YouTube and socials that I've created on um, this community of people who I reach out to every Friday. We always have a good time. You guys know that by now. If you're not subscribed, you can do you can click on the QR code at the end of this video. There's a link that is um, that's in the description. And then in a moment when I show you my website, there is a sign up um, form there on my website that you can use use but I just wanted to show them that it's not just about the community that I build on YouTube but I also try to extend that uh, relationship every Friday through my newsletter and then here is you know my my let's work together page this is what I offer this is how I see that we could potentially work together of course that we can build a campaign together once we start our first conversation but just giving them kind of top line what um, the services that I offer and then being able to reach me and everything here is all clickable that is my media kit and I'm really hoping that whoever receives it will just be so excited right from the media kit and they'll contact me right away. But if they want to look at my socials or my YouTube or go to my website, I just wanted to make sure that what they saw is very cohesive and very similar to what they saw in the media kit. And before this, these past couple of weeks, that has not been the case. So I have spent count list hours revamping my website and I'm really really proud of it and want to show it to you guys right now. So one thing that I love is that everything now is under Well Lived by Jessica whether that is um, my socials or YouTube or my video everything is Well Lived by Jessica. 
And this is the home page, which I'm very proud of. And what I thought that I would do on this home page is create like a three minute video, essentially showing people who I am. Of course, you can read it in my media kit. You can read it all over here on my site. But what I wanted to do was just to create like a three minute video using some of my favorite music in the background, just trying to, again, portray my personality and what I have to offer for all of these different people and companies out in the world. So how about we take a look at it right now? Show me life, show me love, make a change, time is up. We can wait for better days, but the days won't come. Show me life, show me love. Show me life, show me love Make a change, time is up We can wait for better days, but the days won't come Show me life, show me love, this is all we got Show me life, show me love, this is all we got Show me love, show me love looking back at those videos it really just kind of shows me how far I've come I did a year in review in January and it's just amazing since January really how far and how many experiences I've had just this year it's just I love watching it I've seen it at least 150 times and I hope that um, potential you know collaborations will look at this video and really enjoy it so let me pull back up um, so here at the bottom of that video is just a very small um, kind of greeting about me of who I am and why I'm here and then when you scroll down a little bit more it's everything that's new this week so as you guys know every week I send out a weekly newsletter and you can come to my website and view that newsletter here and I put every the newest newsletter um, on this page every Friday 
and then every Sunday I will update this section here which will show the latest YouTube video and then I have a blog and I don't know if you guys know that I have a blog but I like to post over there every once in a while now I think I'm going to start posting it at least once a week I'm thinking potentially Wednesdays but I like to either take things that I've talked about in my newsletter or just something that's completely new and add that here to the site just another way that people can stay in contact with me outside of the newsletter and my YouTube and so down below here is an area where you can go ahead and sign up for my newsletter if you wish I do not spam you I only send out emails once a week and the only other time that I might send an additional email is if I'm having a sale and I'll just you know send out an email that sale is happening in five minutes don't forget something like that but I never spam you outside um, of the weekly Friday email and so then I have um, a few other pages. I have this travel page that I really love. Um, and I've kind of added these little headers here that I love. And um, here it just talks about again, um, my why kind of that same message that I have um, that I put in my media kit is right here on this page. And then all of my travel videos are here with little um, boxes here that you can click and watch any of the videos that I have posted. And then the next is um, the home decor section. So I've been kind of only focusing on travel for this media kit for now, but eventually I would like to also do a media kit for home because for me, they kind of intertwine with each other. While I absolutely love traveling and seeing the world, there's also really no place like home. And so you guys know that once I'm home, I want the place to feel like me and smell like me and just have a vibe and make it feel cozy. And so it's really important to me that my content also represents my love of home and home decor and so again I have my reasons why I enjoy doing that why I love to thrift why I DIY and then all of my I don't know why this little guy is not showing up but it was earlier <laughs> um, all of my home videos are located under this tab and then I have um, the blog and this is where I post all of the blogs that I was just talking to you about. I haven't been that great at keeping up with it, but I'm thinking every Wednesday is probably going to be when I post over here on the blog outside of the newsletter. And so you can find all of my blogs that I've ever posted over here on this page. So kind of love that, right? And then I have my Amazon, Amazon storefront. You guys know that um, anything that I purchase um, from Amazon, I never recommend it unless I've already tried it and loved it and given my stamp of approval. So you guys know where to find my Amazon storefront. Again, it's in the QR code. It's in the description, also here in my website. And um, by clicking on any of these uh, tabs here, will take you immediately over to my Amazon storefront. And then finally, you guys are always talking about how much you love the music over here on, um, on the YouTube channel. And so what I've done is I've captured all of the music that I've ever played on this channel and added it to a Spotify playlist for you guys to enjoy. So you can do so just by clicking the link here or you can click this box here and it'll take you right over to the Spotify playlist. You can listen to it even if you don't have a Spotify account. And so like that whole vibe, all of that music is put into this playlist and there are so many people who are already following it and every week I always add more music to it so it's always kind of it stays fresh and, and kind of up and coming so that is the website I I am just I'm so proud of how far it has come I really I really am I I spent a lot of time and this is exactly why I haven't been able to um, to do a video last week just because I was spending so much time on getting this in order um, truly my goal for 
all of this is just to start collaborating and start to um, travel for myself, but then also with other companies. And a lot of my content will always live on Well Live with Jessica on my website as well as my YouTube. But sometime, sometime soon, hopefully, my content will be on other channels that are sponsoring me and collaborating with me um, along the way. And I'm just really, really excited about all of the potential opportunities opportunities that I have coming up when I stayed at the Maker Hotel um, you know they reached out to me and wanted me to submit my media kit and all of my analytics and everything to them so I could partner with them and so you know that opportunity is very exciting all of the hotels and and resorts that I've stayed in uh, over the last year and a half I plan to reach out to and hopefully build a relationship with them and collaborate with them on some sponsored content so so you never know. You never know where you're going to see. Well, actually, you will always know because you guys are following me along. You guys are on my, my newsletter list. You guys now see the website. It's all nice and pretty. And everything, anything that happens in my life, you will find out first in my newsletter. So you absolutely want to sign up for that um, because I, I really don't gatekeep. My life is pretty much an open book and I talk about it all on the newsletter and then most of it on, on my YouTube so you guys for sure will know but I just want to thank you so much for following me and believing in me and and commenting and liking and sharing that's one thing that I didn't realize was happening because I don't see the analytics up until just now how much you guys are sharing my content which is insane those numbers are insane <laughs> like I don't know I just I get oh I'm about to get emotional it just it just is like, I, I am making this content and I know that you guys love it. I know that I have built this community that is awesome and that has, that you guys have followed me from day one and I love and appreciate you. And then for you guys to see the content and love it enough to share it with a friend or a loved one just means everything to me. It literally means everything to me and I just thank you from the bottom of my heart. So I am hopefully soon to be even more successful because of you, truly. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to relax for a little while. I have a little bit more work to do um, on the website. I saw a few things that weren't popping up that need to be popping up before I send this out. So I'm just going to continue to work on this. I might just like grab a glass of wine and go sit on the porch for a little while. And then while Tara and I were out, Mark actually sent a message and said, hey, do you want to go bowling tonight? If so, I'll meet you guys at the bowling alley. So there's this really cool bowling alley that is in Cary that has like a bowling alley, a, um, a movie theater, a bar, and a restaurant like all in one place. So I think it's so hot outside. We don't want to be outside anyway. So I think that going bowling tonight could be really fun. He actually is like on a bowling league. So he's good. I am awful. Tara, I think is actually pretty competitive. So I think it'll be fun. So I will bring you guys along for that. But right now I'm just going to take a little bit of a break and then I will see you guys at bowling. Those are nice looking. 
Margarita. Margarita. <laughs> Pleasantly surprised that these margaritas they are delicious. Mm. Oh, shaka-laka!